how to fix excluded by no index tag on the Google Search Console page indexing reports. In this video session, I'm going to show you how you meant to approach fixing this and also share insights as to, at times, certain content management systems may generate no index tag, which are perfectly okay for certain parts of a website. When analyzing page indexing reports, always look at all submitted pages. All submitted pages come from the sitemaps that you've submitted to Google Search Console. Now, honest mistake most website owners make is submit the parent sitemap. Let's imagine popular content management systems such as WordPress or even Shopify. If you end up submitting one parent sitemap, which includes all the URLs on a given domain, then it's more than likely that you're going to see many page indexing problems. So let's imagine that I have selected all submitted pages. Look what happens. There is nothing to fix now, see? Because there is no problem in terms of excluded by no index tag for all submitted pages. Okay, so in my scenario, there's nothing to fix, nothing to validate. So now I'm going to show you three different parts of a content management system and a website that may generate no index directive. Let's imagine a typical WordPress tag URLs. I'm going to press on Ctrl U on my keyboard to bring out the source code. Within the source code, I'm going to press on Ctrl F to bring out as in fine. That's no index tag. As we can see, when Google sees this, it says, hmm, the website as in web page is telling me not to index this web page. Therefore, that's what excluded by no index tag is all about if it's generated using a meta tag. Now, if you're using SEO plugins and so on, then they may allow you to tweak no index tags. So you want to triple check any SEO plugins that you're using. In my scenario, I'm using Yoast. And as we can see, I can select no index. That's what that is about. So meta tags can send out no index tag. Now, next place, although rare, is a website theme can use PHP header response codes, X robots tag, no index and they can set that to true so then if it's not generated by an seo plugin on your website then the next place is triple check your website theme files for any code that looks like this yeah. this is more than unlikely as in dot hdxs file for apache web servers can also send out x robots tag no index directive as well so to be able to fix excluded by, by no index tag that's the only three places a website can generate no index tag so now we've got that out of the way you have the tools and knowledge now to check your own website for fixing excluded by no index tag okay so let's press on an example url here we can inspect the url let's press inspect url 
And here it's saying that URL is not on Google because it's excluded by no index tag. And now you know how Google may come across no index directive, okay? So to fix it then, if it is for the parts of a website that you want Google to index, as in place in its database, then you need to identify how that is generated and remove it from your own website. Whether it's meta tags used, whether it is PHP used, you need to identify where that is coming from. And then remove the directive. Now, in my example, it's actually perfectly okay because I actually don't want this URL to be in Google's index anyway. So let me show you a different URL here. This is the tag section of a WordPress content management system. And it's just a placeholder URL. In my example, I don't want these URLs to be indexed anyway. Once again, for my example, there is nothing to fix because it's perfectly okay for me. And in fact, this is a better search engine optimization method that will help Google to better crawl and index a website anyway. So if I look at the source code, this is what Google is seeing. Google is seeing this. Robots, no index tag. So therefore, it's not placing it in its index. And that's exactly what I want. Make sense? Then we have here test robots.txt blocking. Let's press on that to see what happens. And if you end up seeing something like this, then what this means is you can't use the robots.txt tester because you have not verified using URL prefix method. If you want to learn how to verify your domain using a URL prefix method, simply visit rank your website and search for this blog post. So, what I'll do is I'll switch to URL prefix method so that I can show you to, how to use the robots of text blocking as in test that. Now we're looking at the same website but we're looking at a different Search Console property. So let's go back to that example. Let's press on the same example. Now let's press on test robots.txt blocking. Now I am able to use this tester. Now, if somehow there is an issue with this, because most people get this wrong, then either delete this file from your web server or remove whatever you see there. Just have this as such. Because now if I test it, as we can see, Google is allowed to crawl the page. Remember, robots.txt tester is to do with crawling. As in Google search, user agent crawling the site, not indexing. Indexing is a different process. And yet, if you're blocking Google through robots.txt tester for certain URLs, then that could cause issues with everything else. So if you, you know what? If the problem is coming from you, just delete the whole file. Because this is not to do with search engine optimization per se. It's to do with crawling. But Google needs to crawl a URL before it can analyze. That means if Google has seen no index tag, perhaps last month, and then you've set robots.txt directives blocking Google, then there's a problem there. Make sense? That's why you want to triple check robots.txt if the problems are there, just delete the file or 
remove the directives that's blocking Google from crawling, okay? So now let's press inspect URL again so that I can show you what this is showing us here. Here it's saying referring page. That means the URL that you're analyzing, Google has seen it on these URLs. That means this URL had a link pointing Google to that problem URL. In this example, it's this here. So if I look at the source code and search the URL, then you'll see it, as we can see. Okay, so that's the referring page is all about. Here it says crawl allowed. That means there's no robots or text blocking. Can Google fetch the URL? Yes, it can. Indexing allowed? N no. Why? Because Google has seen no index tag. And you now know where to look for that. Before I close up, let me press on F12 on my keyboard. Bring out Web Developer Toolbar. Press on the Network tab. Let me refresh the page. And then let me press on the URL example here. Web Developer Toolbar gives us a bit more information. As we can see, headers. And as I've said to you, if .htaccess file is sending out no index tag, you'll see that here. Okay. If PHP is sending no index tag, you'll see that here. That means when you look at your own website to fix no index tag problems, you first look for the meta tag by searching for robots and make sure there is no directive saying no index because if it is then you need to remove that if you are not sure as to you know look at your theme files or you're not comfortable looking at dot hdxs coding then use the web developer toolbar Network tab, refresh the URL that is having an issue, and then look at the header response code to see if there is no index directives there. Because if PHP and .htaccess file is sending out no index directives, that's where you see that here. And then once you analyze, and remove the no index directive then it's just a matter of pressing on validate fix here if you want to go in depth as to triple check the examples and so on you can look at a specific URL or you can press on last crawl time frame okay so in my scenario I've checked the URLs and as far as I'm concerned, these are perfectly okay. I can place different, you know, amount of examples per row. As we can see, I've seen 50. Let's go with 500. And here, what you want to do is triple check the URL patterns and say, hmm, you know what? Are they the URLs that you want Google to index? If so, then you need to fix exclude by no index tag. All you need to do is follow these insights, triple check the XML sitemap, and I've shown you the best practices, so I'm not going to cover that now, okay? So that is how you fix excluded by no index tag. I've shown you where to look, and then it's just a matter of identifying where the directive is coming from, as in Google seeing it, and then removing it from the URLs that you want Google to index. I thank you for learning with Rankia, and I'll talk with you in the next video session.